We have here with us today Dr. Kumud Mehta, a consultant pediatrician and a pediatric nephrologist and a great stalwart in her field. We are going to have a small talk on renal transplant in pediatrics. Ma'am, we would like to join on your personal experiences. What has been your experience with renal transplant? Uh, renal transplant in children is comparatively rare as compared to the adult population. But uh, any child who has a kidney disease which is not recoverable and continues relentlessly progressive fashion, a time comes when the kidneys fail to perform their function and there is hardly any reserve left in the kidneys. And that situation is called end-stage kidney disease. A recently coined term is a chronic kidney disease stage 5. At that stage, one has to do what is called as renal replacement therapy to keep the child surviving. Because kidneys are one of the most vital organs for the survival of any individual. Amongst the renal replacement therapy, there are two modes of treatment. One is dialysis that means artificial kidney but that is a temporary basis and the most preferred and permanent type of treatment is a kidney transplant. Now what exactly is a kidney transplant? A healthy kidney from an healthy individual replaces the kidneys of the child who is suffering from this end stage renal disease and that takes over the function of the diseased kidney. So it is a surgical procedure or operative procedure involving both the donor, one who is donating the kidney and the recipient that is the patient. So this is in simple terms what is the kidney transplant. In your experience, what has been the indication for renal transplant in children? There are multiple indications, but uh, as far as children are concerned, the most common is a congenital defect or malformations of the kidney. It goes without saying, both the kidneys have to be affected. And these are developmental defects. One does not know why it occurs, but it does occur in as high as 1% of the babies. Out of them, 30% are to, uh, of the kidney and the urinary tract. So it is not uncommon to have a disease which is there already in a baby. The baby survives for a while depending on the severity for 5 years, 15 years or whatever and then requires a transplant. The second causes are acquired ones. That means the child was born with a healthy kidney but there have been you know urinary infections or there is a immunological disease called glomerulonephritis or multiple kidney stones which we are going to discuss shortly so both the kidneys are uh, damaged because of the acquired conditions high blood pressure due to any cause can also give rise to or more important for the people to understand are there are number of drugs which also can cause damage to the kidney and if they are repeatedly given they can also give rise to kidney failure so these are some of the broad groups of diseases where the kidneys can be affected requiring transplant. Who can donate the kidney? As I said, uh, any adult between the ages of 18 years to 60 years who is healthy without any disease like high blood pressure, diabetes, etc. can donate the kidney but it would be better if the blood relations donate the kidney especially in the case of children, the parents because there is more likelihood that the kidney of the donor will be accepted by the patient and will not be rejected because the common tendency is to reject what is foreign that is a nature's way of protecting oneself so this is the rejection of the donor's kidney means failure of transplant so the best donor is as we say the mother or the father with the same blood group as the child if that is not possible, then also immediate blood relations are brothers and sisters above the age of 18 years, then come uncles and aunts. And this kind of donation of the kidney is called life-related donor transplant. Then there are other categories of donors which are, who are unrelated donors. 
for which a special permission needs to be taken for authorization committee. And the third kind of donation is confederal donation or a diseased uh, uh, patient's kidney do donation as it occurs in some sort of a car accident that means the brain is dead, with the kidneys, heart, etc. are working and with the consent of the patient's relatives, these organs can be transplanted. So there are three different types of the donor kidney possible. What is the life of the transplanted kidney? Uh, usually it is said that it is about 10 to 15 years. But if one is lucky, if the patient is fortunate not to reject and if the donor kidney is very healthy, it can go on for 20 years, 25 years. So that shows for a child, uh, there may be a requirement for a second transplant after the age of 10 to 20 years. What is the survival rate of children after the transplantation? Uh, the initial survival rates are pretty good, as good as adults. I mean, 98 to 99 percent of the kidneys would survive for one year if it's a properly selected case with a proper donor kidney, etc. Uh, Five-year survival are a little bit less to the tune of 92 to 95. I'm afraid I'm quoting the Western figures because we don't have enough statistics to quote from Indian studies, but there are few centers like the Stoke Hospital where I work and others, some part of other uh, India where the transplant um, success rate in pediatric age group is to the tune of 80 to 85 percent. So that's the statistics. <coughs> is there any special care that the child needs to take lifelong after the transplantation? In spite of having a live related and a good kidney, there are uh, some drugs required to suppress the immunity of the patient so that the kidney does not get rejected. And for that, lifelong treatment, certain drugs like steroids, then there is another medicine called a cyclosporin and uh, mycophenolate mofetil required at least in the first three to five years. And subsequently, if the transplant is successful, these drugs are given at a lower dosage and some of them can be withdrawn. So one who put down so-called lifelong immunosuppression seems to be the order of the day as of now. Do these drugs have significant side effects that affect the child? Yes, that is a part of our worry as far as the pediatric transplant is concerned. Because steroids can cause a growth failure, so they may not reach the height, final height. That means they remain short, but that's the least of the problem in our country because we are all this short, we are not very tall people. But there are others which are of a serious nature, such as high blood pressure is caused by a few of these drugs like steroids and cyclosporine. Then <coughs> vulnerability to infection because of the immunological suppression by steroids. So they get some unusual infections, viral, bacterial, and that may be one of the causes of death in few of them. Then there are other few side effects, such as what we call a malignancy, because of the prolonged exposure to these immunologically mediated drugs. But that comes after 20 to 25 years. So one has to be under supervision periodically for the not only the function of the transplanted kidney but the adverse effects of the drug by an expert team at least for the 10 years. Lastly, could you tell us if these children are able to lead normal life uh, as far as going to school is concerned and even later on in terms of marriage and reproduction? The way, main purpose of transplant is to allow the child to lead as normal a life possible. Otherwise, the child will be tied to a dialysis unit, will not be able to go for studies or will not be able to do curricular or extracurricular activities. So, a successful transplant means a better lifestyle. So children go to school, they study, they do some of the sports activities, not the vigorous contact sports and all, but at least, you know, within the limits that is laid down by the doctors. There are any number of professional lawyers, doctors who have undergone transplant, I'm again quoting the western figures because we don't have such a long data, 
and they can live a normal life they can get married they can have children there is no problem but this will occur only if the transplant works for the first 10 years because a child at the age of 5 or say 10 years when he gets the transplant the kidney function would be adequate for 10 years or 15 years so the child would be an adult 20 25 year old so more often than not they pursue their you know sort of uh, studies and all and they are ready to get married i mean that that's the main purpose of the transplant thank you ma'am for sharing your experiences with us